Today I've got some DIYs for you using popsicle sticks. Let's get started. For these crafts, I use some jumbo popsicle sticks, super jumbo, and the giant size um, popsicle sticks or craft sticks. And um, I believe that each of these projects you could mix and match and use different size sticks to get different effects. I believe that um, it's pretty flexible on that, these types of DIYs. For this first one, we're going to be using the Jumbo Craft Sticks, and I'm using some of these um, laser cut um, wooden cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I'm using a uh, fall leaf and a rose, and I'm just going to use some wood glue and uh, attach these to the craft sticks. And then I'll use a paintbrush to just clean up some of the excess glue that's in between the cuts there. Once those dried, I'm going to take some of this antique wax and apply it to just the paint stick itself using a little brush to get in between the little um, details on the wood cutouts. And then for the flower, I'm going to paint just the petal portion with some ivory chalk paint by Waverly. These bookmarks work great and they're so pretty and would be great as gifts. For this next DIY, I'm using the giant craft sticks, but if you used a smaller hoop or those wooden um, circles at the Dollar Tree that they have, but my store hasn't carried any yet, but um, I'm just using this embroidery hoop, and just depending on what size your embroidery hoop or your circle is will we'll determine you know what size craft sticks you'll want to use it's just whatever you have and I'm just using the jumbo popsicle sticks to use as spacers to keep all these spaced out evenly and I'm going to trace around using a pencil on the outside of this embroidery hoop um, just on the large the giant um, craft sticks and then I'll do the same thing repeat the same thing but the sticks going vertically Once I have all my lines traced, I'm just going to go in with a pair of scissors and cut on the inside of those lines. And um, these are very easy to cut, these craft sticks, using a good pair of scissors. Using wood glue, I'll attach all these together and I'm just gluing the giant craft sticks to the other giant craft sticks um, that are going the opposite direction. And I'll still use these um, jumbo sticks to use as spacers to keep everything even. This was so quick and easy. Um, and you can see here that I'm making some lattice and uh, once this is all assembled, I will just place something heavy on it and let that glue set up. Now that the glue has set up, I'm just taking some wood glue and attaching the embroidery hoop to the whole thing. And if you have any hangover of your lattice showing, you can just take your scissors and um, trim that off. There's several different things you could do with this. You could um, hang it up and um, display some pictures on it using some um, clothes pins or you could attach a more permanent hanger on it or clip on it um, to hang different things on it 
and um, you could also use it to display items, um, a sort of a riser to put decorative items on, but very versatile and I really like how it turned out. For this next one, I'm going to boil some craft sticks to soften them up, and I'm showing the jumbo ones, but I ended up using the, um, I believe they are called extra super jumbo. Yeah, I think they're called super jumbo. I've already forgotten. But uh, I just boiled them for 15 minutes, and then that made them soft. And then just using cups, this is just trial and error. I saw a quick... Um, article on how to do this and then just dove right in without researching it too much. This is you're seeing my first time trying this out but after 15 minutes of boiling them they become pliable and then you can bend them into different shapes using um, different molds and I'm just using different size cups here and these that I'm showing here are the super jumbo no these are the jumbo and then a little bit later I go back and do some with the super jumbo because these turned out a little bit small. I'm making some bracelets here and you can just see that I'm just pressing inside the cup to form it, um, form the wood to the cup. I have some of the super jumbo size here and I'm just showing you with the jumbo size. It was just a little too small for my wrist. I think my wrist is a, you know, average size but I thought that size might be better for kids but you can just you know try out different sized cups and different size sticks and maybe even do some measuring to um, custom fit them to your wrist I'm just showing you here I have some of these slap bracelets from Walmart they're four for a dollar and I I actually used this metal on another craft that I didn't video in my laundry room um, I might show that at a later day I might do a laundry room video but I'm just showing you here that you can take the metal out of these and um, it's already a very pretty color and you can use them to craft with and I'm going to be applying this as a decorative element on this um, bracelet that I put some antique wax on and then I put some Mod Podge on it to seal it. And I'm just going to use some E6000, glue this, this inside of this slap bracelet on here and clamp it and let that glue set up. So it worked out great for this project as well. I have some more of these bracelets and I'll probably be trying to figure out other ways to use them in the future. For two of these bracelets, I painted them with ivory um, by Waverly, and I'm going to use some of these stickers from the Dollar Tree. I took a strip of them and took them outside and spray painted them gold, and I'm just going to line them up on this one. I left one of the bracelets natural and I'm going to use some of these um, rub-on transfers from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to put this butterfly here in the center as the prominent um, image and then I'll just fill in along the sides using some of these that look like old newspaper. And if there was any 
of the transfer hanging over the edge once I pull it off. I just pushed that over and that looked fine. For this last one, I'm just going to use one of these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree that's um, sort of a border transfer, and I thought that this design was very pretty. This last one that I did, it was a little wider and was falling off of my wrist. And so I thought I would take this um, crocodile and punch two holes on each side here on the ends of the bracelet. And then I'm just going to use some ribbon and then that way it'll be adjustable and I can tighten this up so that it won't fall off my wrist. And you could do that with any of them. If you make any that are a little too big, you could just punch holes in the ends and then just tie them to fit onto your wrist. I had made several of them with the regular jumbo popsicle sticks and they were almost big enough. They were just a little too small, but I thought that they would be great for my nieces to decorate next time they came over. So I'm gonna save those. I liked this bigger style a little bit better. And these stayed on my wrist just fine, except for that one that I had to put ribbon on. But I really like these, and I think the one with the metal and then the one with the butterfly are my two favorites. I've been wanting to make one of these for a while, a clean and dirty sign for my dishwasher so that I and everyone else in my household will know when the dishes are clean and when they're dirty and when they can put their dishes in the dishwasher instead of sitting them on the counter. Um, I just measured and found the center there, but before I did that, I trimmed off the edges, the rounded parts, and this is totally... You can customize this however you want and make this look, you know, however, you know, whatever matches your decor. But I just cut off the ends and applied some antique wax, let that dry. And I'm just using a white marker from the Dollar Tree as well as a stencil from the Dollar Tree, writing clean on one side, dirty on the other. And I'm going to use these little magnets from the Dollar Tree, but I know that Walmart sells little button magnets in their craft section. And I'm just applying one on each end on each side, so four magnets total. And just sort of make those magnets look a little nicer and sort of trick the eye that they're more of a decorative element instead of a magnet. I'm going to apply these rub-on transfers on them and that makes them look much nicer than just a plain magnet. Now if I had this to do all over again, I would have made it to where one word, I'm not, I'm going to have a hard time explaining this, 
that when you flip over the sign, the words, you know, like right now, if I was to flip it over, then the word on the back would be upside down, if that makes sense. So, um, you know, make them opposite. <laughs> So that you could flip the sign over instead of flipping it horizontally, you could flip it vertically, and because it would, it's a lot easier to flip the sign vert, um, you know, horizontally. No, yeah, vertically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, as I'm showing you here, I'm having to flip, you know, take it off, flip it around instead of just reaching down and flipping it up or flipping it down. So yeah, I think I'm making sense. Maybe I'm not. But I really like this. I've been using it like crazy and it works perfect. Thank you so much for watching today. If you liked these crafts, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any new content that I might put on here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.